Yo, what up? Peace and blessing to the fam. This is your big homie Jed back again with another no BS video brought to you by the retroinsider.com. And as you can see, I have a Nike Dunk High. This is actually the first use joint that was released a couple, uh, let's say a week ago, week and a half ago. Um, I was able to purchase this shoe from Finish Line. Shout out to Soul Links for their Twitter notification. That was, I think, early in the morning, I think. Um, I can't remember the exact day, but I was able to click the link from their Twitter account. I would suggest you following Soul Links as well. They are clutch when it comes to those uh, just notifications about shoes releasing. So, like I said, I got on Finish Line app, was able to purchase the shoe. I think it retailed for 110 and was here within like three or four days. So, um, as far as today's video, of course, you know, we like to talk about the quality of the shoe as far as the materials and craftsmanship go over some of the comfort and also some of the sizing but first let me give you a quick look around the shoe and I'll be back with you Right, so welcome back and let's talk about the materials of this shoe as you probably seen from the look around portion of the video mixed materials on this shoe most of the nike dunks that have been coming out as far as the grs have been straight leather but this one has a little bit of sway a little bit of sway and i'm not mad at it um for 110 dollars from nike this is about what you can expect to get as far as quality it's nowhere near the made in the u.s new balance quality but it's pretty on par for any you know other type of uh gr from any other brand so um doesn't have that color changing effect but that red just pops it really does just pop um this back heel tab is actually a white or a silver suede too i just noticed that and as far as the leather um pretty much all the same leather throughout the shoe has a nice little grain to it definitely not the softest leather in the world but once again as i stated for 110 bucks this is pretty decent or what you would expect from Nike. Now, um, as you can see, some other little design elements. We have the Saka style laces, <laughs> the double red and white laces, which is I think is a nice touch. Um, I guess you can wear them both. You can wear them just one at a time if you wanted to. Uh, me personally, I would probably just stick to white, uh, but it's good that they added that little special touch. Now here on the laces as well you see this little nike emblem with a little i guess it's like a little cubic zirconium a little piece there i think that's a nice little touch uh i would probably wear it with it on uh, i don't mind that being there some of you probably would want to take that off but uh yeah man that's 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 it as far as the materials now some of the design elements as you can see the the, the main name of the shoe the first use is because it's paying homage to this nike check here and I guess it was first used back in June 18, 1971. So, uh, yeah, quite a few years ago. Nike has de definitely done a lot of great things since then. But it's good to see that they, uh, I guess, pay homage to the, their roots in the shoe. The inside, on the medial side of the shoe, as you can see, is this traditional swoosh. And that leather with a little grain to it that's similar to the red portion of the shoe. So, um, all in all, I was pretty much impressed with the shoe um the, the suede like i said is pretty good not gonna lie not new balance suede but for 110 bucks coming from nike uh, they didn't do a bad job now as far as the fit of the um the shoe if you're familiar with jordan one you can expect that same fit with the nike dunk so for me personally i'm a 12 in most nikes and jordans but air jordan ones nike dunks i go down to 11 and a half and that's just the, you know, I like that snug fit. And also, I don't like that toe creasing. Or I get a smaller size to reduce the toe creasing. So if you have wider foot, 
if you have a wider foot rather you'll be good with this shoe going true to size no issues at all and then um yeah man just just think about that and uh, whenever you are buying either this shoe or a nike dunk pretty much fits just like a jordan one the comfort is about the same as the jordan one not a whole lot of cushioning it's not terrible so you can get away with casual use for a few hours with this shoe as long as you don't have to do a whole lot of walking and moving around and all that stuff like that so um, yeah man all in all it's a decent shoe definitely want to give y'all a quick look at it just in case y'all were in the market for it like i said i really didn't even know this shoe was releasing but shout out to soul links they dropped the uh link on their twitter and i was able to get it simply because the time was crazy it was like like i said early in the morning or late at night so nobody was expecting it and i was able to cop for retail now this is the shoe that i probably will not keep in my collection so if any of you are interested in uh maybe even copying this shoe from me i'll make sure and get you a great deal on the shoe ship it out to you quickly all you'd have to do is just let me know in the comments or even hit me up on ig at the retro insider and we can make that happen so anyways let me know in the comments is this a shoe that uh you will would cop is it one that you would rock if so what laces would you rock with these both laces the white or the red only let me know in the comments below but thank you guys once again for checking out this video until next time y'all stay humble and proceed